So last time on Thomas and Friends, things got intense. What? Oh, he's dead! We ventured into the delightful world of Choo Choo Charles, and I really wanted to come back and play this again today because we were not able to beat it, and I actually really liked this game. I thought it was really good, really solid. We did most of the things that we needed to do, apart from the one thing that we really needed to do, which was defeat Charles, so that is why we're back today. We're going to do it, and before I get started, I'm going to just quickly get on my best YouTuber apology here. <sighs> Sometimes in life, we do things we think are okay at the time and then pon i've already fucked it up sometimes in life we do things that we think are okay at the time and then upon further reflection we realize that they are just simply unacceptable and i would just like to take accountability and publicly apologize to all of you for walking past such an ungodly amount of scrap in the first episode that will not be happening again listen i had to edit it it pissed me off, so there's no way you didn't notice it. Now, speaking of scrap, that seems to be what is the key here. Scrap is going to be the answer. We're going to need scrap to upgrade this train. We're going to need to do side missions and travel around the map to get the scrap. And we're going to need to not die, because every time we die, we lose scrap. So basically, get around the map, do the side missions, try not to die, and we should be looking good. But with that in mind, I'm going to go around and I'm going to do every single one of these side missions. We already have all of the eggs. We can go to the temple. We can start the final boss if we want. But we saw how that ended last time. So I'm going to go around. We're going to hit these optional missions. I think there's another weapon mission. Yeah, there's another weapon mission down the bottom here that I've got to do as well. So we're going to go and take care of that. Unless there's another one that I missed. There is not. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten missions that we got to go and do. And hopefully, Charlie, me old son, decides not to show up. If he does, then I'm going to have to... Oh, what is this? Okay, that's an animal. Okay, so keep an eye out for Scrap. What is this? Beware the bus. His name is Gus. He's not on the island, though, so don't worry too much. When you go back to the mainland, don't ride the bus. Gus, bus, bus the Gus. He's back. Charles fears Gus. Oh, man, that's going to be Choo Choo Charles too, isn't it? There's going to be a bus next time. Speaking of Charles himself, not that you need filling in, he is... Uh... In case for some reason you didn't catch the first episode, he is a giant hell spawn spider slash train who is very quick, very powerful, will beat the hell out of your train and then beat the hell out of you and then take your scrap just to add insult to injury before scurrying off back into the wilderness. So, in other words, well, that motherfucker's definitely a diesel then, isn't he? Am I even going the right way right now? No, I'm not. I need to be going this way. He can show up any time. We know when he's going to, because he's not very, should we say, subtle. Stealth definitely wasn't his first GCSE option. So, this looks promising. This looks like another mine. I just need to find the optional NPC here. I need to actually make sure I'm in the correct place first. Yes, okay, so... Was this where we did the... No idea, but we got someone here. You there, sir. You have a, uh... You got the beard like I got. <laughs> Hang on, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. Hey, aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? I certainly am. You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. Okay. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. I don't like the way he said that. You are paying me in scrap, right? Not in... You see, Mr. Warren never, never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. Okay. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. Damn. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my status. I see. I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. Okay. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Well, hey, you calling me stupid? 
problem is, he erected these towers I mean, years he'd be right, before but... we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. Yeah, okay, you said erected and you lost me. <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a point. Yep. Don't bother explaining. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> yeah, I'll go sniff around for those As files. As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. I would love to have it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, mate. I'll go sniff around for those files, and you you look like you want to go and sniff my bike seat, so I'll leave you to get on with that. So we've got to get some tiles from the top of here. The good thing about these side missions is they don't, like, make you travel far for it. They tend to just be fetch quests, and that's locked. Helpful. Uh, scrap. Yes, please, Cam, keep an eye out for scrap. It, it must have pissed people off watching that, because I was going back through editing it, and I was just like, bro, why am I not... I mean, fair enough for like the first 10 minutes, I didn't even know what the scrap was. And, wow, someone... Something bad happened right there. We need to make sure that we're picking up this scrap, because the whole reason we're doing this in the first place is because... We were not nearly strong enough. I mean, maybe there was a way I could have beaten him. Oh god, am I gonna have to do a bit of parkour here? Can jump. Should we do a sprinting jump? Whoa! There we go. And we got parkour. Yeah, I wasn't strong enough to beat Charles. That was the whole thing, so... That is what's going to have to be addressed. Is there anything else down here? More scrap. More scraps. Yeah, we need to actually take the time. Conduct a thorough search. Make sure we're getting everything. Hopefully we'll be... Oh, never mind. It ain't going up there. I'm hoping he's going to pay me handsomely in scrap for completing this. Oh, I see, I see, up there. Oh, Ooh, don't you dare fall down. No, 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 no. Can't be out here dying. Not today. Can I open that? Nope. I don't know why I'm like, trying to keep my wits about me. I don't think Charles is going to get me up here. I hope not, anyway. Okay. More scrap. More scrap. How are we getting across to... Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. That jump looked a little bit far for me to make. I don't know. Maybe we need to experiment with it a little bit. Did my guy do long jump in district sports or are we going to find out? How far can you jump, my guy? Let's go. Oh, <gasps> all right. We got Bob Beeman. We got Bob Beeman on the sticks. We're good. We're absolutely fine. This guy can jump far. I respect it. I'm telling you what. Let's another one. Coming up. Dude, he just like floats through the air. We got a lot of scrap coming up here. If nothing else. The papers. Ooh, here we go. Incriminating documents. Now we've got to get back down. <laughs> is there a safe way down or... Yeah, this is where there's not really going to be a... Hang on. Ouch. Yep, that's both of my ankles snapped, but I'm sure we'll be able to make it the rest of the way. Your papers, sir. You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> Thanks. I sure am glad I found these files. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Oh, yeah, I was just begging. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> uh, well, hang on a second. Hang on just a second, sir. If I can get the other glasses out for a moment. Actually, I think you'll find I'll be spending the scraps to upgrade my train, which means I will be spending it all in one place. Thank you very much. Salivate over them testicles. I don't even think that was a, a correct substitute I used just then. <laughs> Thanks for my scraps, man. What are we talking? 17 scraps? I so swear we did like one side mission. We got like 30. Now the fun part is we've got to get back to Thomas without getting dustbinned. I would say let's get back there and just spend it ASAP. Good. Yeah, keep an eye out for more on the way. Let's just get back there, spend it ASAP. So we're not even in a position where we can lose it. Because that's going to be the thing. I don't know how much or how it decides how much scrap you lose each time you die. Maybe it's one of them ones where it like starts off you lose one scrap and then every additional time you die you lose an extra one. And I died a few times, so that's not really a position that we want to be in. Over the hills and far away. 
I don't know the rest of the words. Thomas. Where am I going to get this blue paint? Dude, there's got to be blue paint kicking around here somewhere, surely. What are we going to do? Armor level. Yup. Straight up. We need more of that. I would even go as far as to say we don't need to put all that much focus on increasing damage. I would say increase speed and increase armor. I would say armor is probably first and foremost. But then my next question is, if I'm increasing speed, can I even increase my speed to a level where I'm going to be able to outrun him? So we've got a bit of a journey ahead of us. Yeah, this is going to get a little interesting. Shit. No, 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 Charlie, please. I can fucking see him. Get on the, get on the gun. I didn't want to fight you right now. Keep him back, keep him back. Get back! Yes, good. Get stuck in there. How is this thing overheating so fast? That's it. One. Bad things. Bad things. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, get off again. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Off Charles! Get out of here! Whoa! Holy shit, we actually got rid of him. And my train is in absolute tatters. I really could have done without that happening just then. Fuck's sake. Okay, well let's... Repair it as much as we can. Where are we at on the map right now? Where are we at? Oh, not even close to where I need to be. Not even close. Stop the train. Stop the train. Anywhere where I can possibly find a bit of scrap. Yep. See that? Well, that's the first time we've managed to successfully not get killed. But of course, every time he comes by beats my ass in. I've got to repair the train. Uh, do I want to venture further than this? Probably not. And I don't know for how long he's going to kind of bugger off and leave me alone now. Wait, was that more? Was there more? Was there more? Oh, I don't even know. Okay. Well, either way, that's a little bit more, so that will do very nicely. By the way, feel free to drop a like if you, uh, if you enjoyed the video. As per. Uh, let me stop the train a second. We need to make a call here. How are we going to do this? I think we probably want to go right. Yeah, we probably want to go right for now. I'm thinking if we... We want to be in this kind of area here. And then if need be, we can always make our way on foot over to this one. I don't know if that's a really stupid move. But kind of seems to work whenever I want to do that. Yeah, feel free to drop a like on the video. Leave a comment if you're enjoying it. I actually... Sounds weird to even say this. These scary games are starting to grow on me. What? But I'm actually... Uh, I'm enjoying doing these. I've really enjoyed this game. <clears throat> Hold on. What can I do for you? Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. It certainly would be. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Yes, please. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. Yeah, it's been well and truly established that I'm a dumbass on this island, so... As a side note, talk to anyone around here, and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. I appreciate it. Anyone not wearing a mask. That is. Yeah. Check out the balcony and take whatever you can use. Good luck with everything. Thank you, Candice. Candice just clocked the. I'm not gonna say it. Candice did. Yeah, no, I asked the guys in the masks if they wanted to help, and that was um, met with. Wouldn't exactly go as far as to say the desired answer. They made some very compelling arguments though. So we're going in here. Oh, holy scrap! Give me all of that. Yes. Oh, 
Yes, yes, yes. What do we got in here? We've been waiting as patiently as we can, but the past few days have been chaotic to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately, to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene. We're counting on you. Rest in peace, Eugene. Man. He didn't last very long, but God, he was a good man. A little bit overly enthusiastic about what it was we were embarking on, but I mean, I can respect an optimist, if nothing else. Oh, can we get in here as well? Okay, so now that particular door is off limits. I'm not going to ask what you're hiding in there. Oh, that's it. That was the mission. Just take the scrap and... Fair enough, fair enough. Well, let me go and spend it. Because I don't want to... I don't want to lose it, so... That is going to be the general rule of thumb here. Finish repairing that. Eight. Oh, I can't afford anything. Well, shit. Can't actually afford to upgrade anything else right now, so I'm going to have to... Run the gauntlet and go and do this next one. See, that's the thing. If I'm out here and Charles suddenly decides to rear his ugly head, well, in my opinion anyway, some of you might be into that sort of thing. If he decides to rear his ugly head while I'm out here, what the hell am I going to do? I don't exactly have a train to hole up in. Spare scrap. Spare scrap, ma'am. Sir? You must be the archivist that Eugene told us about. Good God. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. He has the deepest voice I've ever heard. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve it. I'd appreciate it's that. It's the key to the barn. It's just up the path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. Thank you, Tony Tiddle. Much obliged. Uh, so where are we headed? Not far. Not far. Just headed up here. Some of these aren't even missions. Some of them are just full-on people saying, Here, i got scrap. You can go and get it if you want. I mean, make my life as easy as possible, please. Let's open her up. Let's get the scrap. Excellent. This should buy me another upgrade. Here. I'm not even going to attempt to read this in his voice. <laughs> even though Eugene has promised to send here once he reaches the mainland, I just realized he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he is the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Everyone on the island is trying to find a way out of this mess, and I can only hope that the ar this archivist friend of his can work some magic. I don't care what strange things they've done before, or what practices they use, as long as Charles ends up dead. Most folks around here want the same, but then there are those crazies who want to leave him be. That darn Warren has lost his marbles. Not gonna show you what my face looked like while I was reading that. I don't care what strange things they've done before, or what practices they use, as long as Charles ends up dead. Ah, uh, last bit of scrap. Bingo! Okay. Next on the agenda. Oh, there's another one over here. Is that a little bit too far for me to go on foot? I think it might well be for my liking. Although, actually, no, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We'll play the, we'll play the long game here. We'll, uh, I'll take my time. There's no rush. As long as we get these done and keep the deaths to a minimum. Although, thinking about it now, I'm trying to weigh up in my head what's more worthwhile. Do I try and fight Charles off? And then have to spend 10 scrap repairing my train? Or do I just jump off, let him kill me? And possibly lose a little bit less? I don't feel like there's much entertainment value in that. We're going to fight him off, don't worry. I'm not going to do it the cheap way. You're here to watch me die. I'm, I'm well aware. So, do we go for another armor point? Or... I feel like that's going to be the most important thing. We'll go for another armor upgrade. Armor level 6. Now... Yeah, we want to go a bit further down now. Let's be on our way. Hey, Candice. Oh, 
easy, easy lag. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ain't got the most premium PC in the world. Uh, so we'll go a little further. See, when you leave out the uh, whole being stalked and hunted by some giant hell spider, it actually is quite relaxing traveling around this map. Okay, so we got an optional one like right over here. This is another go and get my scrap thing, or... Hello. Look, kid. I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. Oh, sorry. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Hey, you just assume that I do. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. And I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. Okay. Fair enough. I've seen a couple of these chests around, actually. Damn it. How the what? Come on. Bro! <laughs> there we go. Good lord. Oh. Critical item required. Yeah, I think probably safe to say Skyrim lockpicks or more my sort of thing. I'll just do a quick scout around, find what I can. Then I shall go and claim my reward. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> That's an odd looking piece of junk you found inside there. Bit of a letdown, to be frank. Well, deal's a deal. You earned my respect. So here's some scraps, like I promised. Good doing business with you, sir. 34 scraps are up to now. Yes, good, okay. Let's get these upgrades. Uh, what do we want to do next? Maybe damage would still be good to go for. See, I don't know what is the order of importance for these. Do I just try and increase them all equally? I'm going to do another one into armor. Do another one into damage. And then the next one I'll do speed, perhaps. So we're going to stick around here for a little bit. We've got another one up here, which I will go and do now. See, it is quite peaceful, isn't it? It's a nice big open map. You can travel around, chill, get eaten by Charles. It's nice. This looks promising. I found a witch. I'll just see if you got any scrap first. Tasty, yummy stew recipe. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat, salt. Nice. Yeah, I already ate. Thanks. I do not want to go in that water. That just looks wrong. Yeah. What do you want? Well, hello, darling. I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients from my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp. And if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Barry. Keep an eye out for him splashing around. And don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. Bullshit. So you know what I just said about not wanting to go in that water? Well, now i got to go in that water. I know exactly the island she's talking about. That over there. So, Barry the Swamp Monster. What's, uh, what's good with you? Hello, Barry. Barry. Barry! Hey! Chill! It 
does looking around count as moving? Clearly not, because I think otherwise he would have killed me by now. Bro, get away from me. That's it, go over there. Nope. Okay, we got this. A little bit of backstroke. And stop. We're good. Now you just stay there, Barry. So, a carcass. Oh, here it is. Found it. I, I don't see it anywhere. Don't tell me I came to the wrong island. You are not... Did you hear that? Well, Charles, you can't come over here, otherwise Barry the Swamp Monster is going to eat you. And I know you ain't going to sit still, so he's not going to be kind as a kitten to you. Probably run... swim for his life. Oh, there. Okay. So, turn to Lisbeth Murkwater. Shit again now. Is there an easier way to get back to the shore? Am I gonna have to just. Fine. Here he comes. You're right there, Bazman. That's it. Let's stop. Seriously, Charlie? Now is not the time. I can see him. I can literally see him over there. What? You're fucking kidding! <laughs> How is that fair? What was I supposed to do about that? This pussy! You ever heard of the Itsy Bitsy Spider? You know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, climb up the water spout. Down came the rain and he didn't give a shit. Ripped off my face and took all my scrap. Do I still have the carcass though? I only lost one scrap. Yes, good, okay. So overall, that probably works out as a net positive. What happened just then? Uh, another speed, okay. And I was nowhere near Thomas, so he didn't take any damage. I really thought, like, since I was out in the war, it wasn't going to be a problem. And he was just like, nah. <sighs> You're in the middle of a murky swamp. Alright, Lizbeth. I've got your carcass. You best give me some scraps What a this. delicacy you found. Yeah. Here are those scraps I offered. Thank have you. a safe night, little one. Have a safe, yeah, have a safe night, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Don't you worry about it. Back up to 34 scrap. Nice. Good. Let's get back to Thomas and spend it. Just bolt for it. Don't mind the lag. You didn't see it. You ain't see that. Yeah, this is generally why I prefer playing stuff on console. Like, my PC can do certain things. It'll probably run a game like this absolutely fine. It's just running the game and trying to record it at the same time. Anyway. Let's go for another... Armor level. And another damage level. And Thomas is looking kind of cracked, honestly. I want to see, actually, let's look at the stats of some of these. So this is 2 damage to 3 range. 3 slowing. 3 fire rate. Big damage, but everything else sucks. And then the heavy weapon. That's the one with good range. When it says slowing, does that mean how quickly it overheats? And in that context, is it good if it's low or good if it's high. I have no idea. Anyway, weapon mission. There's a weapon mission around it. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. There's one more slot here. Well, one slash two, because I know the machine gun does go in one of those slots. Either way, there's at least one more weapon for us to go and get, so... Hello! I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see... That is slightly, uh, backfired. <laughs> Did you just 
just say flamethrower? Because now you're talking my language. Nearly cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot dang. Shoot dang. I would love to save the shed, though. Oh. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. So I wonder how long the shed's been on fire and you've just been sat here, like, patiently waiting for someone to turn up and sort it out for you? I mean, fair enough. He's nothing if not patient. So how am I putting this out again? Oh, I would need water. Oh, up there. I was like, what does he want me to do? Find the flamethrower and just try and put it out with more fire? Here we go. Wow, bro, really couldn't. This guy's supposed to be a sergeant, and he really couldn't walk up these stairs and do that himself. Do you wipe your own ass? Or do you have to wait for a monster hunter to come from the mainland to do it for you? Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius! Woohoo! Yeah. I don't even know how I thought of that. Here, take old bug spray. Bug spray. Cause of this chaos. Nice. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot, shoot dang. dang. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be saying that for the rest of the day. Wow, shoot dang. Any more scrap? Yes, sir. So... What more is there for us to do? I think there's only one side mission left, right? No, no, no. There's a few. There's a few. Uh, a little bit more that we can do just yet. A little bit more. More importantly, we now have a flamethrower. So I'm keen to see what the stats on this thing are saying. Hey, Charlie. You want to come and uh, take my bug spray out for a spin? There it is. Whoa, easy. Low damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Ooh, okay. Gee, what a surprise. It's literally a flamethrower and it overheats quickly. No way. The way I'm going to do this is a little bit unorthodox. I could have backed up to here and then taken this way. Instead, I will just go to where the, the two tracks meet and then I'll walk back to wherever that is. He thinks. So is that it? Do we have all the weapons now? I think we do, unless there's like any hidden weapons. This one seems to be the best one when it comes for shooting consistently. That one's got good range as well. It's just a recoil on it. It's insane. It's basically two 50 cows here. A little bit further. Just take a step outside and enjoy the view. Enjoy the scenery. It is nice. It is a nice map. Like, this game is very, very well designed. Oh, I've got to hand it to the dev. Where the tracks meet, which is right here. How much scrap have I got right now? Six. I can afford to lose scrap. I can afford to lose six. I need my pickles! Okay. Feel like I shouldn't have come over here. <laughs> I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house. And there's only one jar of pickles left on the island. My secret jar of pickles. Locked away inside my pickle cave. I would have gotten them hours ago. But I lost my pickle key. Someone else on the island might have some lock pickles. I mean, lock picks. And if you can bring me my special jar of pickles, I'll give you all the scrap metal I have as a reward. Well, she seems nice. Go in here, take your scrap. Do I even want to know what this says? Pickles are the lock! I want to know what is making all that noise, man. So loud. Paint. What kind of paint? What kind of paint? Purple. Mm. Yeah, we're getting warmer. Getting warmer. Come on. I got this. Nailed it. We got the pickle jar. Great success. Kind of dreading taking it back to her. Considering uh, how animated she was about the, the thought of me going and finding it for her. Lord only knows what awaits me when I return. Go on then. Here's your pickles. My pickles! I thank you so very much for bringing me my pickles! 
You're very welcome! You are my pickle hero! Thank you! Here are some scraps as a reward for your valiant pickle questing. My valiant pickle questing. Stop it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave here. ASAP. Lovely woman. Did you notice? I actually know a girl who is that obsessed with pickles, almost. I'm not, I'm not sure she'd get that animated about it. Let's have a look and see what this purple paint's saying. Woo! That's a bit more like it. Yeah, this is what we're going with. Okay. Oh, and it changes the color of the weapons as well. Let's go. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, yeah. Let's... Nope. We can forward a little bit. Which way is the... Stop. I am go Wait, let's, let's, let's review here. So... These are the last three. So I think what I'm gonna do... Is... We're gonna change this. We're going to start heading back towards the temple. Oh, I need to actually spend the scrap. That would be a good idea. Hold on. 45. Uh, let's see. Speed level. Damage level. Another speed level? Yeah, go on. Why not? Charles is... Charles is... Thomas is looking good. We're going to just kind of start heading down this path a little bit. Then we'll hit stop. I've got errands to run over here. Yeah, we'll start heading back towards the temple. Oh, fuck. 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 Take cover. Charlie? Don't bite my dick off. still close. He's sniffing around Thomas, mate. He's been hearing about the upgrades. He's been hearing scrap metal getting spent, and he's coming around like... He smells some bullshit. Go and see what old mate he wants over here. My goodness. The others actually convinced someone to come help us. They did. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. Yeah, I don't blame you. I brought all my belongings here so I can leave them arrives. Mm -hmm. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? Where's your home? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. How far are you I'll sending me? You all the scrap metal I have. Just please. How far are you sending the journal me? Next time you're here. How far are you sending me, Santiago? How far are you? Holy! I need to go over there anyway. That's fine. Million dollar question is, do I go there on foot? Do you know? I don't think I do. I mean, the thing is, I could... I feel like if Charles is going to get me, I'd rather he gets me when I'm on foot than when I'm on Thomas. But then that's boring to watch. It's a genuine dilemma. Let me take whatever scrap he's got in here. I kind of want to take Thomas for a spin, though. Like, I kind of want to see what he can do now. We're going to take Thomas for a spin. Where is he? He's over there. Shit. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's do it. Come on, Charlie. Come and get it. Come on. Come on, you big bastard. Come get it. You like that, Charles? Yeah, I'm a bit quicker now. A bit quicker, a bit tougher. Ugh. He doesn't want to fucking go away, does he? Hold on, play for him. Oh, there you go. Oh, he didn't like that. Okay, so he still dumps in my train. <laughs> okay, so much for those armor levels. They really, uh, they're really worthwhile investment, weren't they? I mean, to be fair, I guess it does buy me more time. It seems like 
I don't start taking damage until Thomas has lost all of his health. Fix him up. Okay. Was I even, like, sort of heading the right... No. No. I've gone the complete wrong way. I was so engrossed with fighting him, I've... God damn it. Now we gotta go back. That just kind of makes me want to invest all the remaining scrap that I get into attack. Like, that's kind of what I want to do now. Like, do as much damage to him as possible. That's certainly going to help for now, because that means that he'll leave me alone quicker. But then, I guess when it comes to the final battle, I, I don't really know. Okay, whoa, 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 forward, forward, forward. Let's try and be a little bit closer to this thing. That's it. What would happen if I accidentally jumped off of Thomas while he was, like, just going? Like, would he full on just leave without me? I'm not- I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> I'm not gonna find out. Wait for him to do an entire lap. So there's another side mission up here anyway. We're gonna have to come- we're gonna have to reverse all the way back up here. So this is gonna be interesting. This looks good. We'll go on foot from here. Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? So I was just looking at how pale my skin is. <laughs> I've been called one at times. Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. Do you want me to play Slender? I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? The last date, yep. I've got to play Slender now. Is Charlie going to be bothering me relentlessly while I do this as well? Out of interest. So we're looking for the eight pages. Can't wait. Yep. What the hell? This is literally Slender. What is going on? Oh! Run! Is he just... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. That's how we're playing it. Nice. Great. Fuck. Hang on. We could skip this side mission, couldn't we? We don't need to scrap that badly. Bro. Well, I found some scrap, but that ain't a page. Oh! My guy. I can't find any pages. There's one. Two. There we go. Go! Well, they nailed the music on this. Someone draw a dick on them. Ah! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's number six. Go! Oh my god, this is getting so intense. Come on, bro, I need two more! Go! Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's getting closer. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna shit myself. What happened? Wait. Have I just found a life hack? <laughs> Wait, let me find him again. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where is he? There he is. Hold on, hold on. I think we broke Slender. <laughs> he just despawns if I step out here. I, I mean, a win is a win. I'll, I'll take that, I guess. Come on. Don't let him get me. Screaming! I'm the one being chased! Do you hear me screaming? Seven! <laughs> Got it! Good 
Good effort, lads. Got there in the end. That took way too long. And I think I need to change my trousers now. Sure got a lot more than I bargained for with this one, didn't I? You best be giving me like 300 scrap for this. Like, I'm just saying. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. There better be a lot. For 49, okay, yep. Yeah. No shot. I just got done, Charles. I just got done. Playing Slender. He's Get in there. No, no. Yep, you're hiding in here with me. Good shout. Um, what are we, uh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I think I'm safe. I'm just not sure what the plan of action is now. Thomas is way over there. I've got a lot of scrap right now. I don't really want to lose it. Where's he going? Oh, no, no. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. You want to bugger off over there again, I'll make a run for it. I will legitimately make a run for it. I've still got more shit I need to do. I've still got that fucking journal I've got to go and get. He, he just won't leave me alone, dude. Like... idea. Terrible idea. How much? Minus three? I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. I honestly don't think there was any timeline where I was actually getting out of that. Okay. Damage. Damage. Level 10 damage. Is it not supposed to be a journal in here? Oh, extra room. Thank you. Can I at least read this? Can I at least have a nose around? Nope. Damn, it's got a love heart on the front and everything. I wanted to read his gossip. Here's his stupid journal. Thank you so much for bringing my journals. All right. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. I wanted to. But um. But they wouldn't let me. Here are those scraps I promised. Thank you. Any more scraps up here, or? A few. What we got? Forty-three. At least I'm getting paid handsomely for what I'm doing. Oh, there is that. Gray. Fucking miss me with that. Have you actually ever looked at anything in your life and thought, you know, this looked really good in grey? Seriously, have you? Oh, this is like a full-on station. Sort of. What are we doing here? Hello. Welcome to Araniram, archivist museum person. Yeah, that's that's my Fool. That's what I was christened as. Uh, my apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. No. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. I'm listening. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon. But the goons have set up a camp to protect that area. So be careful. Yep. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Yeah, because we weren't... It wasn't going to be an episode of Choo Choo Charles without dealing with the cult. I have to go and do that. Who's up for getting blasted with shotguns again? Boom. Ow. Anyone got a blue box? Thank you. That was easy. Nope. Don't look back. Do not look back. Just go. Is he still chasing me? Yep. Oh, I don't want to go and talk to the guy now because. Oh, wait, wait. No, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hold on. Where are you at? Oh, oh, now you don't want to show your face. Now you want to go and hide. Stop right there. Got him. <coughs> and he just turned into a bobblehead. Hey, it's different when I've got a weapon, doesn't it? There you go. That's the exact box I needed. That is officially the last side mission. 
Now take these scraps and skedaddle. Skedaddle, I will. What do we got? 89 scraps. That is it. That is all that we have to spend on upgrading Thomas now. This is it. We are going to 88. So let's see. Max level damage. Max out on armor as well. Do I keep some scraps behind to repair Thomas on the go? Do I do that? That's interesting. To max out my armor or to be able to repair Thomas on the fly? I'm going to keep hold of these scraps because I'm pretty sure I can afford to die at least a couple of times and still have enough to max out that armor. Put it this way. I'm going to head over there and I think I'm going to have to just start fighting him and just kind of assess. You ready? Gonna be here. I'm going to do a run. Where I'm not going to spend any scrap repairing Thomas. Just to kind of get a feel for it. And see how much of a chance I stand. I mean there's nothing more that I can do now. There's no more side missions I can go and do. So I guess we're pretty much here until he's dead now. About time. We'll watch this again just for... As a refresher of what happens. Here comes the, away from the Warren Banana the third. You don't know what you're doing. Just put the egg down slowly. What's this guy's deal anyway? Flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. Nope. <laughs> I love how my guy was just like, fuck off. <laughs> you Come on. Here he comes. Go time. Get the heavy. Get the heavy. It's lagging a bit. We are doing good damage, though. Okay. That's what. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we didn't like that. He's coming back. Oh, here he comes. Hold up. Oh, that's good. Machine gun. Shit. We're definitely doing better than we did last time. He still whooped my ass though, like fucking hell. He still blasted my shit off. Do I need to be repairing Thomas on the fly? Is that how we're gonna win this? Let me give it another try with that. We only lost one scrap. We only lost one scrap. Let me try it again. Oh shit, he teleports. Stay back. Yo, why is this actually working? Flamethrower OP? The OP, but I mean, it is called the bug spray. I think. Does he still technically count as a bug? Oh, he's gonna have to go around. He's gonna have to go around. No, I'll wait for him. I'll wait for him. Stay back. What now? I don't even want to switch weapons. This holds him at bay. Shit, I hate when he does that. Okay, another face down. Yo, hold on. Hold on, though. Oh, I overheated. Lag, come on! We can kill him. We can take him right now. This is it. We're going for it. Ignore that voice crack. You didn't hear it. Did we get him? 
Come on! Die! The bridge! That's gotta be it. Let's go! Fuck my sweat patches right now. So basically, the flamethrower was the key all along. The one weapon that I didn't have. That was, uh... I don't know what it was. Every single time, I just... A little bit of bug spray, he just backed right up. That was it. Man. Do I even want to know? <laughs> Do I even want to know? After all I've been through? Isn't that one of the eggs? Didn't we destroy the egg? Oh, this is a different egg, I think. And it's hatching, too. I'm officially retiring as a monster hunter because I ain't coming back to deal with that. Hell no. And that is the end of Choo Choo Charles. Right, come on. Come on, man. What a game. What a fucking game. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. That was so well done. As much as I hate playing horror games because I hate getting scared, I never regret playing them, especially games like this. This is such a sick game. Honestly, I don't know who it was who made this two star I think or something like that. He said was that name of the dev. I heard he's a youtuber whoever made this game Big salute that was incredible I don't know if I would have been able to beat Charles the first time if I had the flamethrower But it kind of I felt like the game sort of lulled me into this false sense of security where I got the eggs quite quickly and then it's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the temple. Let's go beat Charles. And then he just mops the floor with you. And you really have to sit there and like, okay, yeah. Maybe I need to go and do some of the side missions. I, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. Do you know what? I have to say, as much as I sat on the decision for such a long time, and I procrastinated it so hard, bringing back games that scare me, best thing I ever did. Hey, I mean, maybe we'll bring back the other games that series in the future. Who knows? I know some people have been asking for them. But yeah, that is, that's going to be it. Lads, if you have enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying games that scare me, mate, it's back in full swing. Then feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you next time.